has some exciting news to share. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned. The one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well. Which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Indeed, think so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. Revelio. Could the Phoenix be in there? Confringo. Bombarda. Shame you're so foul. Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. Seen how much a single feather fetches? Confringo! Imagine the whole blooming bird! Arrest them! Quite a few of my friends in the ground! Confringo! Careful, you're done. 
poaching days are over. Revelio. Revelio. More poachers? How many are there? Bombarda! Centaur's quieter than any other! Lizards saw a trick! You're off of the conquest of fists! Incythia! Don't funny pay attention to defense against the dark To show me some you try cut me. seems as if it wants me to follow it. I need to find it before the poachers do. Revelio! <laughs> the beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now. Revelio. There it is again.
Revelio. Rebellion. Bombarda! Revelio! Hello, I'm here to help. I can take you somewhere safe. Let's 
get you back to the room. Deke's going to be pleased. Revelio. I should investigate. Accio! Come on, High Wing. Did you find the Phoenix? Yes, Deke. And I rescued it from the poachers. I have it here. It's safe. Remarkable. Well, what are you waiting for? Deke cannot wait to... Beauty. You keep it close. <laughs> Professor Weasley and Deke were right to tell you about the Room of Requirement. Look at all you've done, and how many beasts you've rescued. A phoenix is safe now, because of you. I couldn't have done it without your help, Deke. Thank you. 
Deke is grateful for the kind words and also grateful to have been of assistance to someone like yourself. Helping you do such good for so many beasts has given Deke a sense of peace Deke hasn't known in years. Deke will always be here for you when you need him. storybook. Sebastian, a lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Beldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. 
I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice. Seems risky. It'll be worth the risk. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, well, he could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an Aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Do you think your uncle would tell anyone at the Ministry about all of this if he found out? If he found out, I doubt he'd go to the Ministry. He didn't part ways with them well from what I understand. He won't say, but I believe his strong aversion to dark magic has something to do with his time there. Anne thinks he once decided to fight fire with fire, so to speak, and resorted to using an unforgivable curse and fight against dark wizards. At least that's what she thought she heard. When he realized what his job had led him to become, he left rather abruptly. So, I'm not sure he'd go to the Ministry to report on his own family using dark magic now. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. See you soon. Nice to see you, my young friend. Ah, I have been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and <sighs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an Animagus, I take it? He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him? Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He and my mother raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so too. What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. 
She is an excellent seer. But I think he bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him. As do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. But that does not mean that she likes it. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was. Truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. What are you up to now? Mysterious and a bit unsettling. Off of me. Press the right. Glacier. Hey. 
Rebellion. Bloods on Ranrock's hands.
Bombarda. Nothing pleasant about this coast. I received your owl. Thank you. I'm glad you came. I spotted droves of Ranrock's loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. How are they still one step ahead of us? They can't know about the triptych. I don't know. I did see another memory. This time, it was a keeper named Neve Fitzgerald. She was unnerved by Isadora's use of ancient magic. But I still can't be sure how any of it connects to Ranrock. These keepers are playing games with you. You need to press them for more information. It doesn't work like that. To access each of these memories, I have to complete a trial. It's not as easy as you think. They're showing me the memories in a particular order. They... Oh, either they don't trust you, or you don't care enough about Anne to ask the difficult questions. Of course I care, Sebastian. We've come this far. Don't let your frustration get the better of you. Fine. I'll defer to your keeper friends. For now. But I don't like it. We don't have a choice. Now, shall we see why the triptych led us here? Let's go, quickly, before we're spotted. Keep a close eye out. I saw some of Ranrock's crew moving off the path just ahead. I wonder why. Raiding, I imagine. This mountain used to safeguard local hamlet valuables. But it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. Get up! Get up! Get up! 
Pestrels overhead? Some consider them a bad omen. Hmm. Not everyone does. I know that. All right. I'm making small talk. I'm not going to trek up this mountain in silence. Revelio! I bet the Thestral Nest is close by. Confringo! Revelio! I'm sorry we can both see Thestrals. It's certainly not something I'd hoped we'd have in common. Kill any who trespass! We should have some sort of plan. I'm through plan. Confringo! They got what they deserved. Revelio! What were you thinking? I was thinking about dead goblins. You could have got us killed. But I didn't. Looks like Branrock's loyalists were heading further up the path. Let's keep going. Rebellion. Revelio. Ramrock's going to make everyone pay. Anything made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's a sword or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that, goblin? Ridiculous notions of ownership.
Revelio. Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Revelio. <coughs> Bombarder. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. I agree. Only good wizards are dead wizard. Ranrock's got that right, and I'll be most keen to help him achieve his goals in that regard. Let's go. Let's go. Why are you suddenly so cautious? Listen to me. I know you're angry and frustrated, but charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made. Lord Gok said... Oh, your goblin friend. Stop it. That's enough. Not all goblins are like Ranrock. I am not the enemy. We want the same thing. To find answers. I thought we wanted the same thing. We do. Listen to me. Lord Gok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me or I don't see that we can continue together. Fine, fine. I'm sorry. I'm letting my emotions get the better of me. And I have been for a while. I do trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. Good. Ranrock clearly knows more than we thought. We need to be careful and do this right, not just go charging in. We have our work cut out for us. We need to work together if we're going to find the final piece to the triptych. Agreed. I know I am an intruder! Hunter <laughs> All of Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Revelio. Your 
Rebellion. So far, so good. Charming. Spiders. How fitting. Read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. Rebellion. Bombarder. Uh, almost as good as if I'd done it myself. One nudge and that chest might have fallen. Oh, I think three nudges at least. Rebellion. These spiders are determined to make a meal of us. I'm sure we taste better than a goblin, you know? Annoying little beasts, aren't they? Rebellion. A staircase leading here. Whatever for? I don't think anyone's been here for ages. Confringo! Rebellion. Look at this place. Not really my style. A bit much, if you ask me.
through the cavern can't have been the only challenge. Perhaps we should search for runes. Revelio. We've seen rune symbols like these before. Revelio. Confringo. Is finding these chests luck or instinct? Revelio. Revelio. Sebastian, a journal entry. We should look for more. Why couldn't she have kept all our journal entries in one place? Bombarder! Bombarder! 
Confirm. That troll certainly made a mess of things. Debris everywhere. Repair her. More than one. Revelio. A journal entry. Isadora was here. Revelio. I'm out of breath after all of those stairs, but the view, well worth it. Revelio. Reparo. Another Rebellion. barrier. We can blast through it, I'm certain. Good news? This journal entry sounds worrisome. Confringo! Can't be dead end. Must be another floor above us. Revelio! Confringo! Revelio! Uh, almost as good as if I'd done it myself. This place can't have belonged to only Isadora. Revelio! Another rune symbol. Feel as if I should have it in runic language by now. Could this be another errand Isadora created? Isadora must have honed her skill with ancient magic here. I know from the memories I've seen that the key
keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. I wish you could see one of her memories. The final canvas piece to the triptych. We've done it. Isadora should not have had to keep all this secret. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. But I don't understand why she seems to have gone to such great lengths to tell her story without their knowledge. I wish you could see one of her memories. So do I. Rebellion completing the triptych will shed more light on all of this. I cannot believe the journey this triptych took us on. This is it. Don't keep me in suspense. Go on, place it. Another pensive. This is what we've been chasing. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. It did indeed. Of course it did. It's goblin silver. I need something much bigger. All right. I would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this unnerves them. Well, everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. But someone will be. took away the pain. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? You saw what she did. No, not the memories, the portrait. 
I, I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. I don't follow. We have seen that view before. The abandoned home in Felgroth, the destroyed painting, it was her. So someone destroyed a bit of enchanted canvas, but we found the memory. Yes, yes, you're right. We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. But I don't know how to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain, it's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. One that should be wielded with great care. If at all. If at all? You've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. You can wield it. You have the ability. Please, talk to the Keepers. If not for me, then, then for Anne. Why did the Keepers want to keep Isadora quiet? Why destroy her portrait? 